Hello, this is Robert Smith. I'm here in the UK, actually in Kendalworth Castle, which is built by Prince John or King John, which he's the one that's written in Robin Hood, and uh, about 1200s. And uh, so what I'd like to talk today about is relationships. How do you deal with toxic emotional relationships? You know, I get a lot of emails about it. How do you deal with this? My family's crazy, my relationship's crazy, my job's crazy. I don't know what to deal with, how to deal with it. Um, and you can do what I've done and several other of my friends have done or people I've worked with is that they divorced their, their relationships. That means they t wrote a letter to mom and said, hey mom, I need a break. I need to work on myself and I'll let you update you. So what, she, what they did is they divorced themselves, they updated mom, and they started working on themselves. They started cleaning out the dragons from within. They cleaned them up and they cleared them out. And what dragons really are, are just really memories and experiences in which they held within themselves. Because truly, these experiences are put inside you as you experience them. And then we use these experiences to help build relationships. So if you have toxic experiences with your parents or loved ones, um, you have a tendency when you're around them, you get sucked back in. That means you get sucked back in the emotional dynamics, you still feel and act like them, and then you feel like they're controlling you. So with the emotional divorce, you just separate yourself, you just update them, you don't say you're going to abandon them and leave them, and then what you do is you start working on your dragons. You start tapping on yourself, you write a list of all the memories and experiences that you held against you what you use against you to make you feel bad. You think about them, what they did. And if you don't, if you don't start cleaning it up and you just divorce your parents, and a lot of people just got up and move and never seen their parents or hardly ever see them ever. And the problem is, is that we take these emotional experiences, these little dragons, and we start picking relationships that match what we said we didn't want. That means you'll pick men and women, you'll find coworkers or, or bosses to help you still re-experience what you said you didn't want. And so I always say, look where you are, clean up whatever it is. And if you're in, a, say if you want to work on a marriage, you know, the worst thing to do is to run. You've got to work on you. You've got to clean what you feel now. And because you'll notice what you feel about your partner is also something you felt in your past. And you keep using your own emotional dynamics against them. And of course, we always justify our feelings, you know, you, 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 you. But in reality, it's, it's me, 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 me but I'm blaming you for how I feel. So what we do is we clean up the dragons from within, you separate yourself from the situation, and you clean. Now, if you're in a relationship, you must clean out your problem. And as you change your reaction to them, then your life changes. And then what you can do, like if it's with parents, you call them up. Think about calling them up, and you tap. Think about the memories. You tap until you're at peace with them. And then you check your work. Check it and clean it. A friend of mine, it took her a year and trying to avoid her parents. Of course, there's guilt involved and the parents are trying to suck them back in. Come on, come on, play with us. You know, and they complain, they find fault, and this is our, their stuff because they're doing to you what they've always done to themselves. And they're just practicing, teaching you to be like them. Of course, you don't want to be like them. So the only way to heal it or change it is to work yourself. So separate, clean up, clear out, and then check your work. And of course, you can't run from it because it's inside you. All these memories are inside you. And every character inside your mind is you. That means if you have memories of mom doing this to somebody and you're playing the memory, you're the movie director and all actors. Clear that up. Now that doesn't solve mom's problem. It won't fix them, but it will solve yours. It'll let you look at your parents in a different way, in a loving way. And you can understand they are the way they are because of where they came from, from their own hurts, their own insecurities, and their own pains. And the nice thing about you is that you're here with me, faster you tea, you're addressing your stuff, you're cleaning out your life, and you're moving closer to loving yourself in a grander way by making peace with everything inside you. Again, remember, it's you. And the best way to test your work, and I always say, guys, if you want to test your true spirituality, go to family reunions. Go to the schools that you had, had experienced experiences at. Remember the people, experience those, those people who had affected you. Are you at peace within yourself? So this is what I say. You can divorce your fa family 
and just relax, get away from them, clean up your stuff, clear out your stuff, make peace with it. And when you make peace with it, then you'll know because when you, you're with them, though I walk through the valley of the in-laws and the family, I have peace because you created peace within yourself. So clean up the dragons from within because they really are you. Your parents could be dead and gone and you could still be tormented by your inner dragons. And of course, dragons are just imaginary. And of course, dragon tastes like chicken when you're done. <laughs> this is Robert Smith. I'm here in, in the, the UK in a castle. You be your own Robin Hood. Save yourself. And if you can save yourself, as you do, you'll impact those around you. And we'll talk to you later. Ciao.